Hey everyone, and today I'll be showing you exactly how to use NordVPN and take advantage of all the features it offers. We'll go through everything from getting set up for the first time to using its specialty servers, key settings, and extra tools that make Nord more than just a basic VPN. Now, if you're thinking about getting NordVPN, I'll have a link down in the description with the best available discount. So be sure to check that out if you want to save a bit when signing up. So NordVPN is one of the fastest and most feature rich VPNs available. You can connect up to 10 devices with a single subscription and its verified no logs policy has been confirmed by independent audits. So your privacy is protected. And with more than 7,900 servers in 165 countries, you'll have plenty of options to connect to a nearby server for speed or to a specific country for streaming or privacy. Getting started is simple. Once you've chosen a plan, just download and install the NordVPN app for your device. After signing in with your account details, you'll see the main homepage. On the left side, you'll find the VPN connection options and the list of servers you can search through. On the right side, you'll see statistics like your weekly connection time, Threat Protection Pro details, and file sharing add-ons. From here, you're ready to connect to any location you want, and this is where Nord's interface makes things really straightforward. The map on the right side is interactive, so you can just click on any location you see, like Boston, for example, and Nord will instantly connect you to a server in that city. Once you're connected, websites and apps think you're actually in that location, while all of your internet activity becomes private and anonymous. Websites will only see the VPN connection, not what you're doing online, and Nord itself doesn't store any personal logs. Most of the time, you'll simply Simply search for a country or city on the left side or pick it from the map, connect, and you're good to go. For example, connecting to a UK server lets you access the UK Netflix library, or you could choose a server in Canada to watch shows only available on CBC or Crave. And because Nord has such a huge number of servers worldwide, it's usually easy to find one that isn't overcrowded, so speeds stay fast even during peak hours. But Nord also has a few specialty servers on the left side tab that are worth knowing about. Double VPN is the first one, and as the name suggests, it routes your traffic through two servers instead of one for extra privacy and security. This can be really helpful if you're in a situation where your online activity absolutely needs to stay private, like when traveling in countries with heavy internet restrictions. Then there are obfuscated servers, which are designed to hide the fact that you're using a VPN at all. These can be useful on networks that try to block VPNs entirely, like certain workplaces, universities, or countries with stricter firewalls. Another option is Onion Over VPN, which connects you to the Tor network through Nord. The benefit here is that your ISP or workplace only sees a VPN connection while you still get the extra anonymity of Tor without needing a separate Tor browser. So even if you just want to browse anonymously in Chrome or Firefox, you'll still get the extra protection of Tor in the background. And if you do a lot of torrenting, Nord has peer-to-peer -peer servers that are optimized for fast, secure file sharing. These servers help protect your personal information while keeping download speeds as high as possible. If you're downloading large files like video projects or Linux ISOs, these servers are specifically built for that kind of traffic, so you won't have to deal with slow speeds. Finally, there's the option of a dedicated IP address, which is a paid add-on. This gives you the same IP every time you connect, which can reduce things like identity checks, CAPTCHAs, or blocked logins on sites that flag changing IPs as suspicious. Now, beyond just choosing servers, Nord has a few key settings worth checking out. The VPN protocol option lets you control how your connection is established. Nord Links is the fastest and is generally the best default choice, especially for streaming and gaming. OpenVPN is the older but widely supported option, while Nord Whisper is the newest one and is designed to hide VPN usage on restricted networks. You can also just leave it on auto and let Nord pick the best protocol for you if you're not sure. There's also a kill switch, which is an important safety feature. You can choose the internet kill switch to cut your connection entirely if the VPN drops, or the app kill switch to only block selected apps from using the internet. This is especially useful if you're downloading torrents or using public Wi-Fi and want to make sure that your real IP never leaks. Another useful option is split tunneling which lets you pick which apps use the VPN and which ones don't. For example, you could have your browser always connected through Nord while leaving your online games or streaming apps outside the VPN if you prefer. It's a really flexible option that can help improve speed for apps that don't need a VPN. On top of that, Nord includes several add-ons that go beyond just being a VPN. Threat Protection Pro is a lightweight security tool that helps block malware, trackers, and malicious websites. It even flags potentially unsafe search results and gives alerts for scams or fraud attempts. While it won't replace a full antivirus, it's a great extra layer of protection that works quietly in the background while you browse. There's also MeshNet, which lets you securely link multiple devices 
as if they were on the same local network. It's perfect for things like remote desktop access, playing LAN games with friends in another country, or transferring files between devices without relying on third-party services. And the nice part is that MeshNet can even be used for free without an active Nord subscription, as long as the devices have it installed and linked. Speaking of file transfers, Nord also has a built-in option for sharing files securely between devices. It's simple, fast, and uses the same encryption as the VPN. If you need to send large files to a colleague or share vacation photos with family, it's a much safer alternative to sending files files through email or cloud services. And finally, there's Dark Web Monitor, which scans the dark web for any leaked personal information tied to your email. If Nord finds something, it'll notify you what was leaked and where it showed up, so you can take action quickly, like changing your password or enabling two-factor authentication. So that's how to get set up and start using NordVPN along with the main features you'll want to know about. Hopefully you found this guide helpful, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop those in the comments below, as I love getting to answer as many of those as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.